Hey, Georgia election officials are going to start auditing the statewide election results. President-elect Biden leads President Trump by nearly 13,000 votes in Georgia, but the results are not yet certified. Rebecca Schramm's tracking the very latest from the state capitol this morning. Rebecca. Hi, Gravier. We're now learning that the Trump campaign has officially asked for a recount here in our state. Remember, this is a Republican secretary of state who's feeling the pressure from his own party. Standing by their president, eight current and elected Georgia Republican members of the U.S. House urged Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to investigate fraud claims before certifying results. Meanwhile, Raffensperger is about to launch a historic audit of elections in all 159 Georgia counties. They will review batches of paper ballots to ensure with 90 percent confidence that the results are accurate. As some Republicans continue to back President Trump and his effort to investigate allegations of election fraud. Cobb County's outgoing commission chair, a Republican, is speaking out against those in his party who aren't ready to accept the election results. I find it extraordinary that four years ago nobody complained about the results of the election, and yet four years later we have people who question the integrity of the voting process because they lost. And that doesn't reflect well of leadership. And that's coming from a Republican who just lost his seat to a Democrat. Secretary Raffensperger will hold a news conference later this morning here at the state capitol to explain the audit and uh, answer any other questions. We will have updates for you throughout the day. Live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. All right, Rebecca, thanks for that. We'll be watching for sure.